What is up, YouTube? It's me, Joshua, once again. I'm bringing you some Black Ops 2 gameplay today. We got a pretty typical game today. It's a nice team deathmatch edit on cargo. And we ended up losing in the end, but I did pretty good, so I decided to keep it. You know, don't really need to have ridiculous gameplay every time to make myself happy, and especially maybe you guys as well. So, that's not the important part, of course. The important part is going to be the news we're going to be talking about today, and that is, of course, the Black Ops 2 leaked DLC information. So, as the story goes, apparently a guy walked into his local GameStop one day, decided to take a picture of a Call of Duty DLC poster that was just kind of randomly hanging there by mistake and or purpose, not totally sure, but he took a picture, posted on Twitter, it kind of blew up since then, everybody's been talking about it, it's been on the Call of Duty forums and everything else, and that was like a day and a half ago, and I'm getting around to it now. So, let's go ahead and break this down. So, with the DLC, there is going to be... There are going to be four multiplayer maps. The first one is going to be Hydro. It looks like something to do with like a large dam, maybe centered around that. Um, the next one is going to be a map called Downhill. Now, apparently, um, I think I saw it somewhere where this is going to be centered around like a ski resort, so it's like a snow map. The next one's going to be Grind, not really too sure on that. The last one's going to be Mirage. And also, of course, can't forget it, there's going to be a zombie map as well called Die Rise, it looks like. I'm not sure if there's accent or if it's pronounced the way it looks. And it looks like there's just one last thing on the end there. Can't forget it, can't miss it, it's a first. So it looks like there is um, a weapon DLC that they're going to be releasing with this um, you know, next iteration of DLC that they're releasing. And it looks like the weapon is going to be called the Peacekeeper SMG. Now, I'm not sure why they decided to do it now, why they haven't done it in the past, but it looks like they are going to be releasing a weapon DLC for this. You know, maybe they went back to the drawing board, had a vote, you know, kind of flipped a coin or something, and they decided to do it. I know with Modern Warfare 3, one of the developers explained that the reason they didn't have DLC was because of limitations due to main memory or RAM, a random access memory. So maybe they found a way around that or something else to that extent. Not totally sure, but we'll have to see what it goes. And so it appears as if... The DLC is going to be releasing on the 29th for Xbox 360 users first, and it's probably going to follow the typical pattern of releasing a month later for all of their systems. Now, you know, whether this weapon DLC and or this DLC is going to be kind of tipping the scales, whether the price point is fair, you know, the $15 or 1200 Microsoft points, same as always, you know, I'm not sure if I'm going to buy it, but, you know, the weapon DLC might tip the scales into your favor for you to do so. I just think it's pretty interesting that doing that. Maybe they decided to play some like Battlefield or something and decide maybe it's a good idea to do something like this. Not totally sure. <laughs> that would be my guess or something. Maybe seeing that it actually kind of works to do weapon DLC and release some actual new content rather than just maps. But guys, that's about all I got for you. Check out my last video if you haven't already. And of course, I will be beaming some gaming news knowledge into your brains for tomorrow. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.